Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here at Hope X, here with... Zudi. And? Pedro. So here you have a nice, majestically made 3D printed corset. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, so I did this as a part of my uh, graduate thesis at ITP. Um, so this is, uh, this project is a commentary on the fact that services like Google or Facebook, they're constantly collecting metadata from us um, without, with or without our knowledge. Um, so this was um, done with uh, two months of my own location data. So we built a server and an app and collected, scraped my metadata, mimicking servers of Google or Facebook, um, and plotted this black mesh material um, that is an abstract map of all the places that I went to within a two month period. Um, and underneath that is this white film that reacts to real time location data. And so wherever I am, different patches will turn transparent, revealing the fact that you know, my data is being collected from me and also at the same time revealing my skin. Okay, so um, this, is the, this is real time, so it, is it like linked up to your phone or anything? So like should you walk out of here and go to Queens or something, it would change? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So what is the what is the film what, what is the underlying film made out of? Um, it's the same thing that you would see on uh, privacy glass. A lot of companies have it in their meeting rooms. Um, is it like electrically reactive? Yes. So when you run current through it, it turns transparent, and if you remove the current, it's opaque. I see. So I'm guessing the areas that have the more the more connections, they're um, pretty much places you go more frequently, like home, school. Yeah. You see in the front there's a very dense patch down the middle. That's basically the, the path that's most traveled, mm -hmm. which is from school to home. Mm -hmm. And within that two month period is when I was doing thesis, so yeah. those are the most Oh I see. Path. So it's more about the density. So the thinner, more angular ones are places you go to less. Um, the yeah, the dense points are, uh, we go more often. Um, and you see the, the sparse points, the, the larger patches are they, they have less data points. So uh, what's your part in this project? Uh, I have been doing the development since the beginning and also I did uh, a lot of the electronics and parts of the code. So uh, what, what, bring, what brought you to, the, to, to, the, to this event of Hope? Um, uh, someone contacted me on Twitter and said, uh, you know, this project would work so well with the theme at Hope, so we would love to have you here. Have you been to Hope before? I have not. I've always heard about it. Um, it's my first time. Uh, so, like, uh, given what given what you experienced, do you feel like your your project is a very good fit? Uh, I do. I, I think it um, fits well with a lot of the issues being addressed here. Um, you know, no anonymity, uh, privacy issues. Um, yeah, all underlying themes of the project. I guess uh, also on other notes, um, do you have ideas for other kinds of dresses or clothing made out of uh, 3D printed materials? Or Yeah, um, we actually see this as um, the first piece of a series because metadata comes in so many different flavors. Uh, location is just one of them. So it would be fun to explore the other types. So will we, will we see a corset based on likes? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Make some shoes. Yeah. Make some shoes. <laughs> gauntlets. <laughs> Who knows? Light gauntlets? Yeah. <laughs> so every time you get one, it forces into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks very much for speaking with me. Thank you. Thank you. This is Z Slash from the Outer Haven, signing off.